vouchers, coupons, discount codes, and more. The days of paying full price for a meal or an activity are a thing of the past. There are now numerous ways to cut the cost of dining out, spa treatments, and entertainment in the UAE. While coupon websites such as Groupon or Cabone offer daily deals, apps such as The Entertainer offer buy one, get one free offers, as well as percentage discounts. Other options include Voucher Scout, Repeat, and Helwa, a free app that finds the best coupon codes and cashback offers for its users. But with so many different ways to cut costs, how do consumers work out which deal is offering them the best saving? Welcome to Pocketful of Dirhams. I'm Alice Hayne, and joining me today is Amberine Moussa, the founder and chief executive of UAE price comparison site sukalmal.com, who outlines which deals offer the best bang for your buck. Before we start, here's a message from my colleague about the Business Extra podcast. I'm Mustafa Al Rawi, and I'd like to tell you about the Business Extra podcast. Every week, we run down the top news and developments that matter to the UAE, wider region, and the world. We have brilliant guests that can help us take a deep dive into the subjects hitting the headlines. Whether the latest economic outlook, trends in technology, transport, and aviation, you will know what you need to with the Business Extra. Head to Spotify or Apple Podcasts to subscribe. Welcome back to the show, Amberine. Hi, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad to be back too. Now, a lot has happened over the past 12 months. And with the pandemic, it means that it's created a lot of uncertainty for people. So it's natural for people to want to be careful about how they spend their money. Is that something that you're noticing? People being a little bit more hesitant about spending at the moment? Look, I think so. And I think it's also very much evolved since the beginning of COVID. I think there's been two things that really happened, right? Is one, I think it was a big wake-up call for a lot of us who we're spending at a certain point without really thinking about, you know, what could actually go wrong. And I think as much as at Sukulma, funnily enough, we do talk a lot about what if something goes wrong, always prepare for a rainy day. And I think we've got content after content around what could go wrong. And I think what happened last year with COVID, the concept of what could go wrong, really, which is unforeseen and in nobody's hands, really, really happened. And I think a lot of people woke up to the fact that, you know, it's not just theory, it is reality and we need to face it now. And on the other hand, you've also got um, the financial repercussions of having indeed molded into people's mindset and, and financial worries about the future have definitely trickled down to how people view their finances. And you'll find a lot of, of, there's a lot of people at the moment who can't even tell you that, you know what, next year I'd still do have a job. And so there's a whole mindset around, well, in reality, I do have to save for a few today in case something goes wrong. And on the other hand, you've also got business owners who've been forced to bear losses with actual no side of when when things will go back to normal. So between the business owners and the retailers and the consumers themselves, um, there is definitely a much, much more um, hesitant mindset about throwing money and, and spending things on, on spending on luxurious items and, you know, hope for the best and hopefully nothing will go wrong. But if people are going out, I mean, people are wanting to spend, they are wanting to meet up with friends, etc. Are they doing so in a more careful manner? Have you noticed more people scouring for deals? If they're going to go out for lunch, they want to make sure that they're going to get a better deal on that lunch. Have you noticed more of that activity? I think so. I think there's a lot of people who started cutting back on frivolous spending. um, And there's definitely more people scanning for deals and discounts. And we're seeing that in terms of one, how many more discounts there are out on the market. I mean, every other advertising right now you see is about discount. And there's two angles to it. One is businesses are suffering and therefore they're really trying to build up their sales by luring customers with discounts. And on on another angle is customers are welcoming those discounts with open arms. And people who've lost their job or had their salary cuts, you know, a lot of them have repayments to be done to banks on a house or on a car loan or on a personal loan. And therefore, the fact that if your salary has decreased or even gone altogether, there is a very, very good reason for you to be much more careful and try and cut back on on different places. But then again, I mean, if I don't know if you've tried, but in the UAE, if you try and get a restaurant booking anytime at the moment, the fact that they are 50% capacity, it's almost impossible to get one. Um, so half of the people who would normally be at those restaurants on a weekend are actually not going to restaurants because there's no space as well. And, and I think, you know, you, you'll find a lot more people, I think deliveroos and, and the likes of, of um, 
uh, delivering food at home has has grown massively and you've seen the three four x in terms of sales and also there's i think the psychological impact of it um as much as uh, you know we we do talk a lot about oh my god i've been in lockdown for x many months and now it's open and i'm going to go all out again what we have seen as well talking to a lot of our consumers at sukulmale is well it wasn't that bad after all just taking a full break and it wasn't that bad to change a bit our lifestyle and discovering things like hiking which is for free. Um I can tell you so many people are out there looking um for different things to do on the weekend that is exciting that is out in nature enjoying the UAE as they haven't enjoyed it before because everybody used to travel. So a lot of people psychologically started adopting if you want a, a healthier maybe I could say um but a less expensive lifestyle and i think once it becomes a new way of living um it becomes the norm for you and i think that norm definitely is less spending so with that in mind if people are going out and they are scouring for deals you know who are the main players that they should be turning to i mean there's lots of different concepts out there so if we start with the entertainer for example how does that concept work that's an app based concept so how does it work So yeah, I mean, the entertainer is probably the first thing that comes to your to your mind, and a lot of residents, you know, think of the entertainer. The, the main concept of it is buy one and get one free. Um, so entertainer subscribers have the option of buying a basic kind of package, which I think costs around four hundred dirhams, covering dining, leisure, and, and attractions. But you also have the option of of subscribing to add on packages. I mean, twelve years ago, I remember when I first got to the UAE, the entertainer was a book. and you had to buy the book for 250 dirhams and then you know you keep i remember we used to keep the book in the car because you don't know where you're going to end up at what point of time and we had to like take off the little coupons and bring it to the restaurants um the nice thing about this we could share right because if you had friends who were into some sort of dining and you were not you would buy a book and you know you kind of would share them around because it was a massive book and, and loads of of one to one but now it's all on the app um you can still share on the app though you can still share it's not as fun as ripping out a coupon yeah you just rip out a coupon and i remember doing that at the time it's a bit more complicated now but it, it, wherever you are you rip out a coupon and give it to someone so so you you also have the option of of add on extra costs um you know for example if you're in fitness beauty and beverages because they've got different books and different deals right some is the dining the others is health and and what not um the only thing to watch out for the entertainer i think is i mean it's it's a, for me it's a, it's a fantastic deal is is when you're actually purchasing it right because all deals generally are valued from the 2nd of january to 30th of december so buying a product at the end of uh, at the start of the year obviously you get to enjoy it a lot more and get much more returns on the investment that you've done um and there's of course a, a higher upfront cost involved but there's also then a lot more variety that comes to it and it's interesting because it's got a bit of a built-in tracker that lets you calculate your savings over time which is a great feature if if kind of that takes you but yeah that would probably be the first place um people turn around but remember it's not the only place right i mean deals and discount comes in all sorts of 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 shapes and sizes nowadays um you know there's a lot of different focus and there's groupons there's coupon which are obviously the different uh, you know you need to wait for a whole group of people to buy the same thing yeah how do they work exactly so that's more of a daily deal website isn't it so it's very restricted in terms of timing because it's a daily deals website and app that gives customers you know the fantastic savings on variety of of, of products and it's free to sign in you don't it's not like you have to buy a whole product like the entertainer you can literally go in and decide on a daily basis what you want and the deals that really means to you i think for me the downside of the entertainer is well you kind of have to buy the whole thing right whether or not you know i could be vegetarian and therefore all those meat restaurants well i i don't want to go to them and um, but as you still have to buy to buy the whole thing so the coupon for example is a daily site so you can pick and choose what you're interested in what you're not groupon also follows a little bit the same model offering promotions that that help you kind of take savings on staycations water parks tourist attractions and i and they're still very 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 popular um it also you know it, there's quite a few of the personalized experience um what which is quite nice it's quite intuitive in terms of the deal suggestions that they have on the side i found but i mean one of the drawbacks compared to the entertainer i guess they all have very limited time right so daily deals or it's just it's just for this particular offer on this particular day um and i think to go on to you know this is all great scouting for deals is fantastic looking for discounts is fantastic but i think we get so excited by it we forget that a lot of those discounts there is generally fine prints associated with them 
So sometimes, for example, it, it might not apply on a public holiday, or as you say, it might be limited to a very short time or only a weekday, which doesn't always work if you're a worker. It's those kind of limitations. Yeah, absolutely. There is things like um, expiry date, the block off, the blackout dates. Um, for example, I have, you know, you have a loyalty program with, with air miles and I look up uh, different options sometimes and you've got the miles racked up anyway. So even I'm in that mode, right? Where, okay, well, do I want to pay for a staycation of cash or I've got all these miles? Let me try and figure out what I can do, where I can bring the kids on the weekend without actually completely breaking the bank here. So I looked up the air miles, but truly enough, they were kind of block out dates or, you know, on the app or it was all kind of booked out. So therefore I have to go to a, to a so, so I think, you know, in terms of, of to be aware of is um, deals generally come with fine print. So just make sure that when you turn up to the place with your coupon, very excited, that, oh, sorry, sir, sorry, madam, this is only for a weekday. And, and you know, I, I'll take my own example as well. I, I love golf and, um, I get a super discount if I only take the week membership, but then that doesn't really work for me. I mean, when am I going to go play during the week? But they're fantastic deals. If you have the time and you're able to do what you want to do, you, I think that the main concept is if you're the kind of person who is okay to do things and to have experiences and to purchase things on an off peak time, if you're one of those people, I mean, the world is an oyster, right? Discounts and deals are everywhere for off-peaks. Because if you think about it, the reason all these happen on the off-peak period is because the businesses are trying to fill in the times that they don't have enough people and they've got the, uh, their utilization is very low. And therefore, the more people they have, it's just profit making for them on that day because the costs are there anyway. So for example, I just saw another deal last time, my tips and toes where you get, you know, 50, 60% of massages on Sundays. And so suddenly in my, my, my head was really interesting. And I thought, huh, so probably Sundays are very much the down days where Sundays probably there's hardly anybody going there. So they're trying to promote people to come. So there are very genuine deals as this um, out there, which I love because, you know, these are genuine without really crazy uh, refined prints associated with them because the business are generally trying to attract people. The only big caveat is, well, you need to be able to, to match what the businesses are trying to achieve from a timing perspective. But I mean, something like the entertainer, it generally applies for all days except for, you know, as I said earlier, uh, public holidays. But there's other players in the market as well. There's, there's concepts such as voucher, scout and repeat, which work a bit differently. How, how do they work? Yeah, so it's funny you say that. I kind of came across voucher, scout around probably a year and a half ago. I never heard of them before. And and I remember they were coming on a very, very interesting concept, right? So basically what happens with Voucher Scout, you just download it as a smart app uh, for free, and then you buy credit that can be used for all types of services and, and activities from, you know, scuba diving to dance classes to edu educational workshops to brunches. So it's a little bit different because it doesn't just, it's not just into dying and health, but it's, it's a whole lot of different uh, industries. Um, and I think that the, the, the big part of the difference for me and Voucher Scout, one is you buy the credit, but two is it's great for tourists and visitors because you don't need a subscription, right? You can just download an ad credit and use it for a month and then you're done. Um, and um, uh, so, so, so I think from that angle is as a tourist, if you're coming to Dubai, which is many of them, you can actually just download the app and, and work with it um, without having to 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 fix yourself or to subscribe for the next 12 months. And what about repeat? A repeat is very, very similar, but it's it's much more repeat app rewards. It rewards you for loyalty. So um, if you like going to the same place and your favorite restaurant very, very frequently, then it's a fantastic. That's where the discount is based on, in based on the number of times you go to the same place. So it's very much a reward app that rewards you for loyalty. Um, and it doesn't come uh, with a sign-up fee and it allows for unlimited usage and unlimited guests. So it's not like you're only getting one for one for free, but it's all about the loyalty program. And what about other major players? There's another new app called Helwa, which is uh, helps users find the best coupon codes and cashback offers on the internet. Is that something more for online shopping or is, can we apply that to you know going out as well? So, so I really like that concept. I have to admit, I've never used them, but I was looking them up. I thought it was really, really smart. You know how you have all these discounts and very often you're on Amazon or Namshi or somewhere. And 
Interesting enough, most of them, even if they're doing a discount on their own site, at checkout, you still have to put the code in. I don't know if you've noticed that, but you they still don't do it automatically. For example, I'm doing a 10% off you know, for three days and they still ask you to put the code in. Um, and I think it's just the legacy systems and the tech technology behind it just doesn't allow it to happen. So Helwa, what is super interesting is a smart way to just find you the right coupons. So you don't go around and looking for what's, the, what's that discount code. And it happens to me all the time, by the way. It's like, oh, what was the discount code again? Um, so it's a good tool to have if you love online shopping. It's free to download and use, and it tracks available coupons and detects cashback deals on most e-commerce sites. And when you get to the checkout, it automatically applies these deals upon checkout. Um, but it, the only downside, I would say, because they have to obviously integrate, it works on very specific site that it partners with. So it's not like any site you go to is connected to. So you download the app, but um, they're popular brands too. It works with like Namshi, Noon, Booking.com, H&M, Mom's World. Um, it's honestly, I think it's it's fantastic now. It's not like there's coupons all day long, um, but when they are there, why not make the most of it instead of trying to remember where was the last time I saw the coupon code? So it does that memory for you. But what about delivery apps? I mean, obviously with COVID, everyone's eating at home a lot more. We're all delivering. I mean, I see those bikes going everywhere. So, I mean, how how can you save that way? I know, for example, Zomato has Zomato Gold. I mean, how, how do you save through these types of concepts? Yeah, look, Zomato has really picked up, right? It's now the go-to app. I think if you want to compare any restaurants in Dubai, read reviews, um, add your own review, book a table, you can do all that through Zomato. And you're right, with, with a Gold loyalty program, you can enjoy the one plus one offers on food at Zomato's partner restaurants. So it's really simple to use. You pick a restaurant based on the discount offers um, that it has with Zomato Gold and uh, you pay through the app. And, you know, a lot of people are, I know around me going, oh, can we, can we pay through the Zomato app um, because they get discounts on it, which is fantastic. But the thing is with all of this is there's lots of options out there. And sometimes I think you can have a case of coupon overload or voucher overload. I remember ordering a pizza once and there were so many different ways that I could save on that pizza that I was spent 10 minutes trying to work out the maths of which one actually offered me the best saving. I mean, what, what's the trick here? What do you have to do to try and work out where you're going to make the most money? So I love this question because I'm exactly like you. There is just too many. I feel like there's more discount and coupons out there than actual companies to buy things from, right? <laughs> they are literally everywhere. Um, listen, I think it can be very overwhelming. And I think you kind of look at your lifestyle and you think about, okay, what are the things I use most? Because sometimes this, it does bring a bit of a stress, right? The, the whole decision-making is is probably not as healthy as, as you think it might be. So I think pick a couple of them because seeing maybe, I don't know, one or two or five dirhams on something, but it takes you half an hour to, to figure out how to save five dirhams, the blood pressure level up might not be worth it that much. So pick the ones that you use all the time you know, the cafes, for example, you know, you, you, you need petrol every single week, right? So potentially that's a great place to start from a, well, where can I get good price petrol, whether it's through cafe, whether it's through other means. So if you're a diner out, you dine a lot out then probably the entertainer or one of these deals, but I would say probably pick one or two and stick to them and just look through them before you go out. And I think that's the other trick, right? Versus just going to a restaurant and go, okay, now how do I get a discount here? Is look through, okay, well, look, what are my options? If I am a cost, a price sensitive person and a cost conscious person, let me look at where are the places I know if I go to, I will be able to get to the one for one or or all that, right? So rather than waiting for it to it's time to pay the bill, just spare a few minutes, plan your outing before before you go out where you're not stressed out and you're thinking about, well, should I go to a restaurant X or should I go to restaurant uh, Y? Restaurant X, I get 5%, but restaurant Y, I get one for one for free. It makes a lot more sense. And also, I think people forget that if you're single or you're married or you have kids, those three categories, different discounts will apply to you and different, you know, you probably have more time if you're single to look through the apps and work out five different apps. If you've got three kids, you're trying to get out of the house to go for a meal, Yes, it's even more important because the bill is bigger, but I'm not sure it's probably as healthy to sit around and, and look at 15 different apps that you can get. So pick and choose, you know, um, based on your lifestyle. I mean, there's no right or wrong and there's, and there's no best app for downloads out there. I don't think there is anyone who can say the best app to get discounts is X or Y or Z. I think it really, really depends on your lifestyle, your hobbies, 
the way you eat, whether you're healthy, you're vegan, you're you're non-vegan, you're you're you eat anything and everything, so, or you're a fast food kind of eater, all this then matters to which app you go and decide to pick. But the trick is to really stick to a couple of them and consistently use the same thing. And then eventually you start knowing where to go and when to go. Sometimes as well, it is worth just spending a little bit of time signing up to these things. So you're kind of in the system, so to speak. Like you mentioned air miles earlier on. Once you've got that, every time you're going, doing your shopping and you're you're building up points, that's a very simple one. And then you can decide later on whether or not you want to use, how you use those points. But it's kind of worth actually getting yourself into the process just so you're actually building up points or or, or the vouchers are available should you need them at some point. Yeah, I th- look, I think an education of what is out there and picking spending some time on this is very 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 good idea and because you educate yourself into okay what are the apps out there available and then you do the second part is well what do i need and where can i save based on these app and then you stick to it so absolutely an education level about what exists and how they work is very helpful like you know i i've racked up smiles from my it is a lot bill for years. And because I never educated myself on it, you just sat there and I did nothing with it. And then at one point, I remember they sent me a message saying, hey, this is going to expire. And I'm like, I wonder what that is. Let me go find out. And now every single time, and I've discovered a little bit of it. And I was like, huh. And I actually figured out there's only one or two places that I go that actually, which is Toys R Us, or I think one of the toy stores, which is great. So when my kids go, there's always, I've always got points. So instead of before using my credit card, I use, I use the Smize app and, and pay for the one or two things they wanted to get. And then I went to Occitan. I was like, oh, wow, great. I can actually use smiles there as well. So, and I think once or twice you do it, it actually does feel good because you feel like you've done something right. So absolutely. Educating yourself at the beginning is definitely the key to um, to getting the fantastic uh, deals and discounts. Absolutely. I think I did it once with Kareem because they silently build up. And then I realized I had all these points about to expire and I quickly used them to buy you know, Emirates Air Miles, it all kind of feeds into itself. But also when we're going out, sometimes you don't want to appear tight, particularly if you're trying to, I don't know, wow somebody that you're having dinner with. You don't want to be scrubbing around in your handbag for a for a voucher. So sometimes do you think we should just pay full price and enjoy the experience? Absolutely agree. I think, you know, there is a time for everything and there's a time to just enjoy and pay the full price. I think it's very psychological as well, is you decide when you're ready to do so and you decide uh, the right time to do so. At the same time, though, to be fair, a lot of those apps are actually quite easy to use. Um, I remember when I was using my Smiles app or, or any of that sort of thing, it was literally just opening the app and pay for it. It was, it was quite simple. It's quite seamless. I know the Zomato, I've seen a couple of people use it. I don't have it personally, but they would literally just as if they were paying, it, it felt like they were paying through Apple Pay. Figuring out, I think part of the research um, that you do is probably another good idea is to look at, okay, well, if I have a client um, lunch or client dinner that I don't want to be showing, you know, I don't want to show that I'm tired or, I, you know, I want this to just go seamlessly and not make the other person feel bad. Because I think there's that psychologically as well, right? If if you had a question with a client and you're trying to impress them and then suddenly you got out and you go, oh, can I get my 50% discount? psychologically, I think the client would feel bad and probably would offer to pay because if you're kind of looking for a 50% discount on the meal you just offered him, I guess psychologically, it does have an impact on the person you're with. Um, and it's a feeling of, oh, did I, you know, could you afford this meal for me? So I think it's probably the right thing to do to see which app, educate yourself on which app are very seamless and that are very easy to use and then decide the right time and the right place to use it. Thank you very much for joining us this week, Amberine. You're welcome. Thank you this week to Amberine Musa. If you would like advice on your personal finance issues, you can write to me on pf at the national.ae. And remember that PF stands for personal finance. Please do subscribe to the podcast in your podcasting app to receive weekly updates and also leave us a review so we know what you think. This episode was produced by Arthur Edison. I've been your host, Alice Haynes.